there! I'm so excited to show you one of our plugins called the Side Stripe. Now watch what happens when I reload this page. And there you are! That's the Side Stripe. You can have it on the left side or the right side, and you have tons of customizations to go with it. Let's see how it works in the back end. Now, a plugin will install just like any other plugin that you have. Just upload and activate it. And after you activate, you will see a new item here called the Side Stripe in the, under Settings. We click that. So naturally, we already have a stripe created. That was the one you saw just a moment ago. Now we want to add a new stripe. You can have unlimited number of stripes. So let's click that. Now I'm going to create a reference for me. I'm going to give it a name. And then I'm going to add some copy for this stripe. I can bold it if I wish. I can also make it italics and underline if I wish to. I can have links. And you can have links going outside of your website and have it open a new link or you can click on any of the links to go to any of the pages on your current site. You can also add pictures. Now, I've already uploaded a picture earlier so I'm going to use that one. And then I'm going to choose a text color. This time I want the stripe to be on the left and I don't want any borders since we already had one border pre previously. And this time, instead of a background color like I did before, I want to have an image for the background. So let's do that. Let's click on that. That's a very subtle background image. I'm going to use that. And I'm going to tell it to repeat the background. If I wish to, I can have an opt-in, an autoresponder opt-in. Uh, all you need to do is just paste your code in there. And you can also change the form fields and the button. You can also change the color of your button text and the color of your button if you wish to. And instead of letting it slide out after five seconds, maybe I want it to be almost immediate this time. I'm going to click one second. And I do not want it to auto close. I'll leave the cookies as 14 days. That means when somebody lands on the particular page that has the stripe and it auto opens, then they won't see it again until 14 days later when they revisit. And maybe this time I'll go with a default tab icon, but I do want the tab color to be something else so that it would stand out uh, from the white background. Maybe I'll have a orange color. Sorry, that would be the tab icon color. We're going to leave it. We're going to use leave it at black that, as it was, and we're going to have change the tab color to orange. And maybe this time I want the tab to appear lower down on the screen. I'm going to do 200 pixels, and we're going to click Save Settings. And before anything can happen, let's go to Default Settings, and let's tell the plugin that we want to display the second demo for all posts only. If you're going to turn it on for all posts, we need to make sure that this is checked, turn on for all pa posts and pages, and we click Save Settings. Now let's head on over to the site, and let's click on a post. And you see the stripe right there, and it's launching almost immediately, about a second after the page loads. And here is our content. And right there is our image as well. And because we did not set it auto close, it will stay open until we close the tab. Now let's head on back to the default settings and let's turn it off for all pages. Supposing we only want that to appear only on one page and all the other pages will be ignored except for the home page and category pages. So we'll click save settings. We go on over to all posts. And this time I'm going to click on this post right here and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to tell the plugin to display that demo on this post and I'm going to click update. Now when I look, click view posts, there it is again. I will not auto pop up again for me because I have been cookied as it should. But it is 
there. Also, now if I go to any other post, let's click on, we go back to that earlier post, you see that is not showing. Uh, it's not showing on this post either, but it will show on this post because I've set the plugin to display just on this page only and not anywhere else except for the home page because we have had it set up in the home page. So this gives you very, very fine control. You can enable it per post and per page to your liking. Those are just a few options. If we head on over back to the Stripe, there are lots of different options. You can even change the icon if you prefer something more fun like that, and we can change the colors again. You will see that the icon has changed and the color of it has changed. So you can have a little bit of fun with this plugin as well. I hope you like what you see. Come on over and grab yourself a copy.